there's something I think which is very interesting happening in the world right now, and that is the coming together of people from various movements, all the way from the New Age people, you know, the traditional Christians, uh, the Trump supporters, and people around the world who who are who love truth and freedom, and even conspiracy theorists, and all these massive divergent. Uh, communities of people from around the entire world are coming together in agreement and working together and helping each other and liking each other's stuff on Facebook and everything else because what's happening is that we're being sort of um, gelled together through the opposition, which is this globalist, this globalist movement of of the UN, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, the governments, and of course, all the media, the corporate media, and a lot of the, and of course, not all, but many leaders of, of large corporations um, who all get together in, in Bilderberger and, they, and in Davos, and they agree on the strategy, and this is what's being executed. And there may be some disagreement about whether COVID was the pandemic or whether it was a natural pandemic that happened and now they're just trying to react to it and take advantage. Either way, people around the world, until very recently or even now, probably most people don't know the, this, the reality of what's going on. They don't know about the Great Reset. And, 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 and there's additional information going back two years, four years, 10 years, even before that, where there's a lot of evidence that this was being planned as a way to, for there to be a global power grab. And who's grabbing the power and how are they doing it? That's the part that we're all looking at in, in disbelief and with a lot of fear uh, for the most part, because it's scary stuff. Um, what they're talking about is basically, uh, you know, a lot of good ideas, which is, you know, the social justice, basically the whole woke stuff in the US there's they call it woke um and and that's and that's great any racism and greater equality but the way they're doing this is they're is they're um restricting personal liberty um they're they're forcing us into masks um in cases where maybe in a lot of countries it's starting to look like this is just basically a regular flu um so there's all this going on, and there's, of course, a lot of debate and uncertainty about what exactly is true. But what we know for sure is that the, the story in the media isn't the truth. And everybody can see that, I think. Some people are okay with it because they believe that the pandemic is that scary and that's what and this is what has to be done. Or in the U.S., in terms of the election, they, they clearly see the coverage being 100% tilted toward pro-Biden and, and against Trump. And they think, well, Trump is this guy that he's this terrible person and, and this racist and bigot and, and, and dictator or whatever they want to call him in the media. And so people rationalize that that's OK. The media is doing this. But the thing is, the interesting thing is that that despite this, despite the fact that the the entire uh, authority, the governments of the world, for the most part, I mean, almost absolutely in every country, um, these unelected globalist organizations, the WHO, uh, the UN, and so forth, they're all kind of creating this consensus that there's this pandemic and we're supposed to do X, Y, and Z. And people have, for the most part, of course, followed along what he's supposed to do, right? But now, as we go into the fall, and as we start the second wave of lockdowns, and a lot of people, especially in Europe where I live, in the U.S., we're saying no. We're saying this does not support it. Uh, the, the death rates are just not there. And we do not support this situation. We want life to get back to normal. And, and the government just doesn't seem to want to go there. So we're looking at the situation. And the conspiracy theorists are, have been saying this a long time about Bill Gates and the vaccinations. And, and people like me have been saying, like, come on, that's crazy. Even though I do believe that there are conspiracies in the past, you know. Um, and the New Agers are saying, well, this is a time of the ego dying and we're here to help people um, awaken to consciousness and kind of cope with all these challenges, the uncertainty, the loss in our lives. And then you have the Republicans uh, behind Trump, who are, who's a great man trying to fight this, flawed man, but doing his best, um, speaking his truth out there every day, just giving it everything he's got. And so you have this coalition of people that would never have been on the same side, and then you ask yourself, well, what side are we on? We're, the values are very simple. We are on the side 
of personal freedom, of telling the truth, of wanting truth in the world, of being governed by a system that's honest, uh, being able to, you know, free speech, speaking our truth, being able to decide about our own, um, <laughs> about whether we take a vaccination or what the government does to us, being able to decide whether we want to wear a mask, whether we think that, that protecting someone in the grocery store maybe is a good use case, but maybe not outside going to the park, for example. And we are basically on the side of, of common sense, love, family, tradition, everything that I think most people kind of understood are, is good in the world. And I think for a long time, there was too much bickering between the conservatives, the Christians, the New Agers, um, the, the, the truly well-meaning Greens and, and, and liberals that also used to believe in freedom or still do, but their movement has been co-opted by this globalist movement to try to, uh, it's basically an authoritarian movement or, or totally you know, communist to some extent. And the reason I, I, I'm hopeful, not just hopeful, but I believe that everything is going to be okay because there's this massive awakening of, of, of truth and honesty and love in the world. And of people coming together, you know, I'll play my part to help those who are who are emotionally struggling with realizing all this is true. It's a very painful process to realize that the world you live in wasn't what you thought it was, um, that the media has been lying to you, um, you know, that your government's been lying to you. It's a very painful process and people need um, spiritual leaders, you know, awakened people to talk about. What's your real identity? What's what's the nature of reality? Um, are we safe? Um, you know, are what what happens after this life? What is the meaning of this life? And these people will help help many or are helping many go from the the true believers to to the awakened people seeing what's happening. Right. So we have a role, and the conspiracy theorists have a role. Not everything that they point out or or every theory they have is true but they've brought a lot of truth into the situation and they've highlighted a lot of things, most of which is probably um, likely. Um, so we're acting without fear. I think we're fearing the alternative more. We're, we're fearing the alternative of, of this, this coup, this takeover of the world economy and our lives. I think we're fearing that to the extent that we're, co that we're starting to speak up and share our information. And the interesting thing is how, you know, we're supposed to be afraid of their technology and their vaccinations and their censorship, but it's not working. We're using their platforms to share the, our truth and reflect it right back at, at the world and awaken people. And you look what happened, you know, Hillary Clinton was on this side four years ago on the side of the globalists. And it turns out that technology is what, is what did her in the email scandal. Right. And again, we have Biden trying to take America toward toward this, the globalist movement, um, you know, a man who's, who's totally corrupted already through through his dealings with, with Ukraine and, and Russia and China. And again, he's being taken down by technology, by a laptop. You know, we're using Google, Facebook, Twitter to speak the truth. So I think we can have a lot of faith and a lot of hope that the coup is not going to work. In fact, the opposite. They're creating the most massive movement of conservative values, of, of spiritual values. The coming together of religious and uh, um, spiritual people, New Agers, and I, this is what I'm living. I, 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 you know, my, my parents are, are in the Bible Belt and they're you know, the true conservatives, and we agree. You know, I also talk to LDS missionaries, and I, probably this shouldn't be said, but we agree on things. Um, my brother, who I never agree with anything, we all agree for the first times in our lives. And to me, um, I just think it's amazing to see people not arguing who's right, but all contributing parts of the puzzle, pieces of the puzzle. You know, business people um, going to work every day, not believing the virus is going to kill them. They're, they're an important piece of the puzzle. So let's look at the situation and celebrate the hope for humanity, which is that nobody can destroy what is real about us, which is our love and our truth, our openness, our helpfulness toward one another, our, our, our willingness, our bravery, you know? And I just find it a, a beautiful time to be alive, and I, I can't wait to see what happens next.